In this exercise, we're going to write a program that displays the contents of a directory, including all the files and all the subdirectories and all the files of the subdirectories of a directory. So let's get started. We're going to call this program show dirtree.java. I've already started it. I've included the import statements that I need. And the first thing we have to do is we have to create a class that provides the functionality that we need. And it is going to be called file visitor. And it extends an interface called simple file visitor. So that's how we start it off. In this class, we have to create one method. It returns something called a file visit result. So that's its return type. And the method is called visit file. Its parameters are a path and then a set of basic file attributes. Continue on the next line, like so. This method throws an IO exception. And all this method does is displays the current path and returns a constant file visit result dot continue saying we need to continue reading more files and file directories. So that's the class, very simple. So now we're ready to write the class that runs our program. First thing we do is create a string variable dir, D-I-R, that holds the directory we want to display. We're getting that from the command line. Then we display a little header saying the starting directory is our dir, or the value that's stored in dir. Then inside a try block, we call a method from the files class, walk file tree, with the path that we specify and a call to our file visitor class. And that's all we have to do, except catch our IO exception which is really just a formality. So let's do that. Print an error if we have trouble somewhere. And that's it. So we'll save the file. Come back to our command prompt. Compile it. Let's do a simple one. This only has files, so we don't have a problem. Now let's do a little bit more complex one. Say our Windows directory. And notice it goes on for quite a while. So we're going to stop. Let's do our program file subdirectory. I'm doing this primarily to show you that it's going to throw an exception because you can't specify a directory or a file name with a space in it. One of the weaknesses of Windows. So what I have to do is I have to put that in quotes, like so, so that it represents a name without a space, if you will. And now we're still in my Adobe subdirectory. We'll watch it just for a second. The best thing you can do is try this on your own system and see the different results that you get. Yours are not necessarily going to be like mine, of course, because you may have different programs installed. All right, so you see we're working through Adobe. Now we're in Photoshop. Now we're in Reader. Now we've gone out of Adobe into Broadcom. I'm going to stop there. So the program to walk a directory tree is fairly short, 20-something lines of code, including some spaces there including three lines of imports. So this is one of the powerful features you get with Java NIO, and I would encourage you to explore these with Java 7 to see how you can add them to your own applications. But with that, we're finished with this exercise, and that wraps up this chapter on Java New IO.